Hi everyone, SoraFang44 here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. And in case you are new, I make Sims content, Sims videos, Sim content, with the occasional non-Sims video on the side. And today, I'm actually here with a Let's Create a Sim video, which I have not done in a long time. And I'm super excited for this one because I'm actually going to be doing well, kind of a different um, creator sim video. Because this one is going to be based off a tabletop campaign. Yeah, and this campaign is called Athenaeum. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> And this was made by, this campaign was made by Angel Arts. And I really wanted to recreate the cast. Well, not the cast, but characters. Um, the characters that the cast made up. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And before we actually go into the characters, into making the characters, um, to kind of explain what Athenaeum is about, it's basically a bunch of different storybook characters and yeah, and they're all from different genres and they all end up meeting each other and lots of chaos, lots of funny moments and I really hope you guys enjoy this creative sim video and be sure to check out Athenaeum which I will link down below in the description so you guys can go and check it out and if it's possible I'm going to try and link the playlist if not I'll just link the first episode <laughs> um, for the campaign um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first character which I've already named, I've already given him the traits and everything but here we have Black Powder and Black Powder in, um, in Athenaeum, he is actually a pirate. It's pirate based. And he's meant to be like, um, he's actually like supposed to be the main villain of his story. Um, and like everyone else are good guys. Which is very different than like everyone else here because because um, everyone else here are good guys like he's the only bad guy but they all end up like helping each other out in their own worlds and stuff and I'm not gonna go into any spoilers or anything um, you know in case you guys have not seen Athenaeum but Black Powder has a peg leg which I have not managed to find. So I guess in a way it's a good thing he doesn't have a peg leg in <laughs> in Sims. I found a pirate outfit. There it is, there's a pirate. Wait, what's this one? No, that one. Alright, so that is get famous which I have not done I've actually not not seen that much of get famous actually I know you can obviously become a celebrity in, in that game I keep going to custom content because I I found a bunch of custom content some of them was quite tricky to find actually and yeah I keep going to full body why need to find the shoes. Do I need to find the shoes? I don't think I do. I'm just stretching his muscles. Let's not. Wait, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really change anything. Um, but just in case, let's... Let's see. Okay, no, nothing. Alright. And if I look down at my phone at any point, I am going to try and like 
find the character, what, what we look like. <laughs> Alright, so black powder, he's quite big. He's old. And at the end, I'm going to show you guys the traits I've given them, likes and dislikes, the aspiration, and everything like that. So, black powder. You're a pirate, you got a beard. Big bushy eyebrows. And I'm also basing it off um, Michael Let's Plays drawings because he's one of the he's one of the cast members in the the campaign so yeah, he's, he's done like some of the drawing for the game which is good it is good actually you guys need to check out his drawings which I'll show you guys some of the drawings at the end well I usually do Ooh, yeah. Those are good eyebrows. Black Powder's pirate, so he has to look quite scary. He's a very serious pirate. Right, let's have a look at the eyes. That's Coraline eyes. No. Right, so with the eyes, I'm actually not sure what eyes to give him. Quite dark eyes. Oh no, actually, those eyes were good, and I just made them look like an alien. <laughs> Alright. I need to give him, like, a serious face. I mean, he looks quite serious now, but no, he needs to be more serious. And change my nose as well. No, so as always, I'm going to I'm going to link down the custom content that I use, and as for more presets mods that I use, um, down below so you guys can go and check it out and put it in your game in case you guys want to use it. I like this nose. I like it. I'm just not sure what nose to use for black powder. I don't know what a pirate nose looks like. <laughs> no, is that nose good? What do you think, guys? Is it good? I don't know. So yeah, let, let's use that nose. Let's see the eyes. I might come back to the eyes, I think. I might do that. Come back to it later. Because I want to sort out the hair. Yeah, and did I download custom content pirate hat? I did. Here it is. What do you guys think? Is it cool? Does it look cool? Red doesn't really go, I don't think. That goes better. Yeah, that. We got ourselves a pirate hat. Awesome. Just need to sort out the eyeballs. I've got like squinty eyes. Squinting eyeballs. Also, I need to sort out the skin as well. I keep going back and forth, back and forth. I don't know if it's lighter or darker, his skin. I mean, on the images, I've got it lighter. Hold on a minute, guys. I'll be back. I'm gonna look for... I'm gonna try and find another image of black powder. Just to make it easier for me. Okay guys, I'm back. So I changed the skin colour to this one. Because I feel like that one suits him better. Okay, so what is next? Oh yeah, and I'm also just gonna be doing the everyday outfits for the characters. Yeah, just the everyday outfits. 
I'm not gonna be doing like swimwear athletic no just you know normal everyday outfit just doing that <laughs> so let's check your ears got an earring black powder and all these got an earring there we go black powder wait what's this one yeah those ones actually it's not big earrings it's only small ones what's the difference between these two did it even change I don't think it even changed um, didn't change okay that shrunk set I got so many presets of ears at least there's lots to choose from right I mean, I think we can go with these ones, right? Ears or ears, but not big Dumbo ears. Alright, black powder. Alright. Is he that big? Should I make him a bit s smaller? Not too much smaller. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. And I think it's about black powder done, actually. Doesn't look as menacing as I thought. Oh yeah. Yeah, we, we need to have a look at the eyeballs. Oh, those are really big eyes. He's not an anime character. Ooh. Those eyes look good. Yeah, let's do those eyes. No, oh, doesn't have a mono brow. Let us see. Yep, all right. That powder looks good, doesn't he? What do you guys think? I think he looks good. I think he looks good. Actually, I think I'll show you guys the traits now, actually, for black powder. Rather than wait at the end. Because I think he's done now. Um, okay, so... I chose Child of the Ocean. Because, you know, he's a pirate, so he likes to be on the ocean. Where was it? Yeah, I was also looking at this one, Child of the Islands, but I decided not to do that one. It's all about summoning spirits and stuff. and Magic is bad in this world, so yeah, best not to do that one. <laughs> Adventurous. Again, he's a pirate. Pirates are always adventurous. And hot-headed, because he can get really angry. <laughs> really angry or really mad. Aspirations, Master Chef. Master Chef with the essence of flavor. Because in the campaign, um, Black Powder's like the head chef. He's, he's in charge of all the cooking. Likes and dislikes. <laughs> He's got lots of dislikes. Uh, <laughs> All right, so he likes baking and cooking. Like I said, he's the head chef. And fishing. So there's a lot of fishing to do on, on a boat. And dislikes programming, video gaming. Wait, writing? Oh yeah, writing. Singing, media production, and photography. That's my phone buzzing. <laughs> and, and the reason why I put writing as a dislike for him is because he can't read, basically. 
<laughs> he is not good at reading at all. And when you're writing, you have to you have to read it, right? Writing, reading, write. What? <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, writing. He can't read, so I feel like he wouldn't like writing. And Obvio is all or tech. Apart from singing. Yeah, he really does not like singing. He doesn't like it when everyone bursts out in song. He he doesn't like it. He finds it really annoying, basically. Yeah, and like I said, the others are all technological. And because both Black Powder and the next one I'm going to be doing, both of them um, are basically from the past, before all the technology happened, so I just don't understand it. Not really. <laughs> so yeah, that was Black Powder. On to the next one, which is, who is? Sam Bennett. Sam here is a detective. It's from the detective um, genre of storybooks. And what's different about Sam, um, what makes Sam stand out? So we have Black Powder, he stands out because he's, um, he's a villain, he's evil. And the reason why Sam stands out is because Sam is... He's actually black and white. He's black and white. That's more blue than anything. Yeah, this one. Yeah, Sam is the only character in black and white. <laughs> Which is kind of interesting, you know? Let's do Sam Bennett, and also, I guess I can say who my favourite character is, right? Actually no, I'll do that at the end, when I actually show you guys the characters. When I show you guys the characters, then I'll, I'll, I'll say who my favourite character is, and who my favourite world is. I mean, I like all the worlds, just as a heads up. I like all of them. No, not quite. Not quite Sam. It's quite short, his hair. I should, go, I should click on short. <laughs> Maybe that one, actually. Let's try it. We need a detective hat, which is down here somewhere. Now what type of style is the hat? Obviously I'm not going to say what colour the hat is because it's black and white. <laughs> I mean that looks quite accurate. Any accurate? Accurate. Yeah. I think this one. Actually take the hat off for a sec. I kind of like the first one I chose actually. I think we should do that whatever the first one was. Whatever it was. Is it this one? I don't know what your hair was. Where is your hair, Sam? I feel like it was this one. I want to change the actual shape of your face. I don't want to make it too skinny. Or too thick. I should really get a pop filter to block out the sounds that's going on right now. I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't know. I'm just controlling the eyes. I guess this is fine. I don't know. I'm not good at customizing jaws and stuff. 
I mean, I hope it turns out okay. I really hope Sam turns out alright. Something about it's not right. Do you have makeup on or something? No. I thought he had like blush or something up. I don't know. Maybe this one. Let's just do this one. Let's do this one. Eyes. No. I'm gonna save this one, this rainbow eyes, for another character that's coming up. Ah, uh, that looks more black. Sparkly. Alright, Sam. Let's have a look. Oh, actually, those eyes are good. Let's have those eyes. <laughs> yeah, automatically, I, I just like this one. Don't want to see the others. <laughs> Let's see with the hat. Is it more grey or black? Alright, custom content. Here it is, here's his coat. Yes, I love these custom contents that I found. I love it. Trousers. Alright. Shoes. Yeah, just no, not those ones. I thought we were getting somewhere, but we wasn't. Yeah, pretty much black and white, black and white Sam. Love it. Wait, is he wearing gloves? I think you're wearing gloves, are you? I literally can't tell if he's black and white. I can't tell if he's wearing gloves or not. <laughs> I can't tell if he's wearing gloves or not. I don't know. Black and white. He suits most of his lips. Maybe not that one. <laughs> That's a bit creepy. I can just give you these ones. I'm never sure what to do with the ears. Like I'm not sure what to do with the jaws or the or the cheeks or anything. Yeah, the ears are similar. Except with the ears, I know not not to give them Dumbo ears. I think that's fine. I need to sort out the eyebrows, though. I think. I can't tell how thick your eyebrows are. I'm trying not to give them scary eyebrows. <laughs> no, the scary eyebrows belong to Black Powder. Because you know he's supposed to look scary. He's a pirate. <laughs> oh, he's a pirate. He has his own ship. These eyebrows look angry. <laughs> Why do they look so angry, these eyebrows? Okay, these ones. These ones look good. Alright, that's them. Alright, and the traits. Obviously, gave him a genius because he's a detective. And detectives are really clever. And I wasn't sure what to give him <laughs> after that. <laughs> So I gave him ambitious and self-assured because, you know, self-assured, very confident. Lots of likes. It's mostly music. I, I don't know why I gave him lots of music. Baroque music. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Jazz music, blues music, classical Focus and easy listening. And he likes research, debate, writing. No, yeah, because that's what detectives do. Dislikes programming, video gaming. Because that's more of a futuristic thing. Not futuristic, but present day. And aspiration. Strangerville mystery. Strangerville is holding some dark, deep secret. I read it backwards. <laughs> and this sim wants to uncover why all the townsfolk are acting a bit strange. That has detective written all over it. That aspiration. 
He would go so well in Strangerville. Home to seems to become happy when they're in the uh, home neighborhood. Just anywhere, really. Who have we got next? Tori, okay. Let's try and find Tori. Tori's picture. I know what to give her. I know what to give Tori. Oh, and in case you guys notice, she's only got two traits here and not three. That's because I made her a teen. Um, kind of thing about how old she says to what she was. She was a teenager. Her character is a teenager, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, where's a realm of magic? Oh yeah. And Tori, she is from the horror genre. I don't want custom content. Uh, <laughs> and where's Realm of Magic? Yeah, she's from horror genre and she is a goth, so. And I just think this, um, this suits her, you know. Trousers. Uh, again, realm of magic. No, no, not realm of magic. Sorry, never mind that. It's not realm of magic. <laughs> the image I found of her. Well, is it two? Two images. Yeah. She's got ripped jeans. So, need to find some ripped jeans. I know that these are ripped, but she doesn't have. A jumper tied around her waist. That's got patches on it. Uh... I think this one looks good. I'll have a look, but I'll come back to this one. Yeah, some of the custom content I found very more easier to find than other custom content, depending on what the character was who the character was, I should say. Yeah, these ones. Boots, not these. <laughs> She's not even wearing boots. Like. Oh, I think I know what shoes I, f I found for her. I've seen them before. I don't think it's these ones, no. Not those ones. What shoes to give you, Tori? Um, I said I knew what shoes to give her. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what shoes. Apparently. So yeah, Tori's world was interesting. I'm not going to say what happened in her world. <laughs> yeah, something happened. Something happened to Tori in her world. Something happened to Tori in her world. Shh. I'm not saying what it is just something happened I'm not just something happened I'm not not saying what <laughs> not saying what definitely not I think I might chat back with you guys once I found the shoes so see you in a bit guys all right guys I'm back so I found these shoes they look a little bit loose I think this is good. Yeah. Alright. The skin colour. I just hope I'm doing a good job at, at this. I mean, I like creating sims, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> a lot of pressure. And I am quite new to YouTube, by the way. So... <laughs> There's that on top of everything. Skins I'm choosing for either too bright or too dark for Tori. I guess this one's fine. Let's do this one. Okay, the hair. I mean, this looks good. This looks good for Tori. Yeah, some of these I don't. I don't even have to look at the rest. Like I'm definitely this one. 
eye colour though. We need to change the eye colour to something else. I'm wondering if she's got yellow eyes. I've got lots of anime eye colours. Actually, that one looks nice. Okay, you got thin eye eyeliner, eyelashes, eyeliner. <laughs> Should I choose the eyes first, actually? Oh, no, that's way too big. And I'm sorry if my commentary is quite bad. Because <laughs> I have not made these sims before. That is so much more difficult, a lot more realistic. Although I say that, but the last character is definitely not <laughs> realistic or at, all, at all. Well, the three last characters and the next one and one after that. Yeah, Tori and Black Powder, they've got the most realistic face. <laughs> I don't know. No, these ones are quite thick. These eyelashes are thick. No. I mean, I'd say this one. What nose should I give you? What nose would you like, Tori? What nose? I've got so many presets <laughs> which is the whole point of a mod but sometimes it's quite difficult to choose <laughs> with so many presets probably pulling <laughs> can't speak I'm probably pulling funny faces right now but I don't know I do that when I get stuck pull Weird faces. Let's do that one. That one kind of stands out. Alright, mouth. Lips, mouth. Quite thin lips. I like that one. Oh, and the cheeks. Oh, not the cheeks again. If anyone from Aphanim is watching this, I <laughs> I really hope I'm not ruining your characters. I really hope not. Um, no, it doesn't look right. <laughs> Probably need to cut this, right? So that you guys aren't looking into... Not looking or listening to nothing. Cut, like, the random... Silence. I feel like Tori looks okay. Yeah, and the ears, you can't even see them. Here's Tori Barnes. Okay, the traits. Traits and aspirations and likes and dislikes. Okay, so the main reason why I chose <laughs> the childish one, which looks really crazy, um, that's not the reason. <laughs> It's because um, of the very last bit, where it says that these sims become happy when playing with children's toys. Now, the thing about Tori, I know it's not the same thing, but Tori actually has voodoo dolls, and she could do voodoo magic. Yeah, she's got voodoo dolls and can do voodoo magic. And I know that you can get dolls in The Sims. I feel like the gameplay would be funny with Tori. Like, she would just be playing around with, with dolls. Like... Exactly what she does on Athenaeum. For popsicle sticks. I mean dolls. <laughs> I say popsicle sticks because... Because Emily... Um, Emily, um, the one that's acting out, Tori, Emily has these popsicle sticks and she, um, she decorates them so that, um, <laughs> so that they represent each character, which makes it really cool. I just love the designs. And after Childish, I wasn't sure which one to pick, so I chose Insider. 
because I was trying to find something that was the opposite to Lona. Because Tori has a fear of being on her own. So I was looking at traits that conflicts with it, with Lona, and that was Insider. Insiders are very happy when they're surrounded by their friends. And I would have chosen family orientated because she really cares about her sister. But can't choose it. It doesn't give me the option to choose family orientated. For some reason with teens, I don't know why. Aspirations. Spellcraft and sorcery. Visim craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. I feel like that goes really well with Tori because, like I said, voodoo magic <laughs> and voodoo dolls. And she's a quick learner. I only gave her one. <laughs> she likes spooky music. And yeah, you guys can download these sims because I'm going to put them up on the gallery. So you can download them. Um, you can download them and, and play with them and you know, change some traits if you want, change the likes and dislikes, change the aspiration. Next we have Star. Alright, Star. Yes. So, with the eyes with Star, this is what, um, this is what I was looking for. One I said that I was saving for later. Yep, this is later. Um, I'll come back to the, to the eyes. Let's get Star's outfit. Now we can look up custom content. Here it is. It's red. Now, Star's outfit. I had so much trouble trying to find the outfit, like... <laughs> also, I need to check if I spell that right, Athenaeum. I don't know if I did or not. <laughs> and yes, I did spell Star's name right. Because Star, he spelled his name with two R's instead of one R. I like that little touch, I like that. And I'll, I'll show you guys, um, yeah, so Star is not a human, I'll, I'll show you what he is, um, when I get to it, <laughs> yeah, I'll show you what he is when I get to it. Now I am not sure what trousers to give him. It needs to show a bit of a, a bit of a stomach. Just keep choosing random ones till I find something. I mean, yes, I can choose shorts, but no, he's got trousers. Oh yeah, I can say what genre he's from while I'm searching for trousers. So, uh, Star, he is from the musical romance genre. And there's a bit of like soap opera going on as well in his world. I mean, there's drama in all of the worlds, but yeah, soap opera stars well. And one of the episodes is actually a musical episode, which goes really well um, with Star. Why can't I find any trousers? I had a look before, like. <laughs> before I started this episode and I did find I did find some trousers don't know where they are though or was it these ones? it might be these ones I'll come back to you I'll come back so yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it guys until I find the trousers so I'll see you in a bit ok guys I found the trousers yeah like I said star that's quite difficult to find <laughs> I think 
was trying to find a full body um, suspender. That's about what it's called. Suspender outfit. Couldn't find it anywhere. Shoes. Shoes for Star. Oh, and he also has a tattoo. A love heart tattoo, but again, couldn't find it. Alright, Star has got boots. Which I don't think can go over. Yeah, the, the boots can't go over. Can't go over the trousers, unfortunately. I'm going to try and find some good ones. These ones will do. These ones will do, yeah. Okay, gloves. He's got fingerless gloves. I said that very weird. Fingerless gloves. What is going on? Alright. You're ready to see? That gives you a hint. But he is not an elf. No. He's got elf ears, but he's not an elf. Just basing it off the images I've got. I'm going to show you guys. He's a fairy. Yep. He's a fairy, so there's lots of fantasy elements in this world. And, yeah, it's amazing. Now, I can't choose between this one and this one. That's what I was looking at. Um, when I downloaded it into the game to see if it works, like I literally could not choose between these two. But I'm thinking this one. It's got more colours on it. And I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. <laughs> okay. Star. I don't know. Right. I think this one. Yeah. Star, you have got pink hair. And pink eyebrows. Yep. I'll do the eyes first. And I really like the power that Star, that Star has. Or powers. He's got more than one power. Wait, I can explain what his power is. I can explain what his power is by explaining the eyes. Now, in the images, Star actually... Um, Star actually has, like, these yellow eyes. That's really big. Uh, <laughs> but, I think the rainbow eyes... Um, in my Sims game suits him suits him very well because of what his power is. So his power is so think Naruto's shadow clones combined with Disney's inside out inside out emotions. That's basically what his power is. Except um, once he like splits his himself, that sounds. I made this sound sco a bit gory there. Um, well, not split himself, but separate himself. Separate himself. Um, these um, different versions of Star um, appears. And these different versions of Star are his emotions. His emotions, like different versions of himself. And different versions of himself have got different colours. And we've got different names, so like Rhyolite, Amethyst, Sapphire. And yeah, that's why I chose the rainbow eye colour for Star. So that it... It's kind of a reference, kind of a reference to, to like the different versions of him. And yeah, I like it. I chose the rainbow eyes. Speaking of eyes, where 
I, I already chose those eyes and I didn't like them. Um, speaking of eyes, is it the eyebrows that's making it harder for me? He looks really serious. Why are you serious? Why so serious, Star? Yeah, and Star has a thing about being kidnapped. I have no idea why. <laughs> it's like a thing in this world. He like he, he keeps getting kidnapped, <laughs> which can be quite funny. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's got a little thing. I know it's more lower down, like on this chin, but like around here, but. It's fine there. I couldn't find one that's slower down. Yeah. Star needs to look younger. And also, like, change the hair as well. We're gonna do that. We're gonna focus on the hair. Now, Star does wear a hat, so... We have to see what it looks like on a hat. That's fine for now. <laughs> this hair is fine for now. Okay guys, I'm back. I felt I was feeling quite warm with the Pikachu onesie. I can't decide what nose to give Star. No, I go back to the nose. I don't know, the eyes look really small. I mean, I could try and change them, but... I don't want to make him look possessed. Big wide eyes. No. Can I have like normal eyes, please? I have to look at the presets. Like, well, not the presets, but these. Okay, I'm back. And yes, the skin did change colour. I don't know why I did not do that. The game did. Do you guys remember which one it was? I can't remember. Okay guys, I'm back. So I tried my best to, to make Star's face. It was quite difficult, not gonna lie. I just hope I did a good job. I really do, I really hope I did a good job at Star. I tried my best. That's all that matters, I tried my best. And hopefully Hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> He's just missing his hat. Where is your hat, Star? You need your hat. There it is. Here's a point now. Um, he's an elf, but <laughs> sight sticking through the hat. It's fine. Oh, the earrings. So I found these. But I also found these ones. You can see them a bit more. So here he is. Here's Star. Here is Star. Hope you guys like him. And Micah, I hope you like him as well, in case you're watching. <laughs> okay, traits. Squeamish. Nauseated by the sign of creepy crawlies, vomiting, violence, and death. They seem to become uncomfortable near anything dirty. Music lover. Because in Star's World, his job is a singer. He really loves to sing. And he likes to be confident. I was choosing between, choosing between confident and bro. I chose a confident one. <laughs> but you guys can change it if you want. Likes and dislikes. I haven't given him any dislikes. 
all of these songs, all of them, all of the songs. Well, not all of them. Just, I gave them nearly all of them though. Just nearly all of the music on that list. Musical genius, and he's a muser. And then the end, we're gonna check right. Actually, no, I'm gonna check now. Did I spell it right? Did I spell Athenaeum right? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, how do you spell it? I'm gonna check. I mean, I was close. I was close. I was close. Yeah, that is star on to the next. On, on to the next. Yeah, Frankie. So, Frankie is basically Frankenstein's monster. He's blue. He is blue. Frankie is blue. And I have got to do this. He's got to have his like blonde hair. He's, he's got to have it. <laughs> Funny thing about Frankie is that each world, each world that Frankie goes to, he gets less and less clothes for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's like so random. But then again, the campaign is random. He has got thick eyebrows. Thick eyebrows. But not a monobrow, no. So. Yeah, basically Frankenstein's monster, but Frankenstein's monster um, falls in love with his creator, with the person who created him. Frankie, he is really strong. All the muscles. All the muscles. So usually, he doesn't have hair. That's what he usually looks like, but I want to add the hair. <laughs> I want to add the hair. Because for some reason when they visit Tori's world, he has long blonde hair. Long blonde hair. Frankie. Now, I don't really... Um... I'm, I'm just going to do what I did with Tori. Where I got a base of the outfit from like one of the packs. That's what I'm doing with Frankie. And I saw this one. This part was good. But then I saw this. Which I think suits him a lot better. That suits him a lot better. And then trousers, packs. I forgot the pack. Get famous. You yeah, have these ones. I feel like I kind of rushed through Frankie. I didn't want to do that. I don't have the height slider mod, so I can't actually change his height to be really tall. But it is a mod. It is a mod that's out there. I feel like it's missing something besides the shoes being the wrong colour. I don't know, it feels kind of rushed, this one. Do you have, like, any sci-fi shoes? Maybe? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know. It's hard to get it to match exactly. I feel like I failed. <laughs> I feel like I failed at creating Frankie. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I honestly tried. Should I just remove the hair? No, I like the hair. The hair's funny. It's funny with the hair. Go with the context. Okay, um, so he's a bro, outgoing, self-assured, wants to be friend of the world, grey dress, activity, programming, research, debate, robotics, rocket science, I don't know if he is interested in rocket science or not, and um, video gaming. Anyway, let's romance music. And let's change the spelling again. 
That's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Who have we got next? Sue. We got Sue. All right. So, so think about Sue. She is from a manga. A manga that's a bit like, think Sailor Moon. Basically Sailor Moon. And she usually wears a chef hat as well, but when I give it her, I can just show you with a random hat. It gets rid of the curls. The chef hat has curls. It's supposed to have curls on it. Hey, look, here's the chef hat. Gets rid of the long hair. So I'm gonna keep chef half, chef half, 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 half. Chef hat off. But, you know, if you've got a dying out, you can have it back on. So, she wants to be a chef, um, but she doesn't have any, like, taste of smell. Taste of smell? No. Taste of. Oh. She doesn't have, like, a sense of taste. And her cooking is meant to be really bad. Really bad, really terrible cooking. <laughs> yeah, that's her outfit. That's Sue's outfit. You look good as you are, Sue. But... See if we can make you even more cute. I want to try and make you cute. Actually, I'm thinking, because she's an anime character. Maybe I's bigger. Her eyes just shrunk. <laughs> so again, guys, I think I might. I think I might check back with you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I found the eyes. These are the eyes I cho I've chosen. So it's got a tiny nose. Again, I think that's fine. She got zoom out. be a bit tinier. Okay, yeah, this is Sue. This is Sue. Here are her traits. Glutton. These sims have, excuse you, these sims have a greater negative reaction to hunger. Always enjoy eating no matter the food's quality. You can eat spoiled food. Can rummage for food and garbage, not sure about the last bit. But yeah, that's basically her, her eating spoiled food. And it doesn't matter what food's quality is like, she's still gonna eat it. No, because she doesn't have a sense of taste. Erratic, can talk to themselves, unpredictable emotions. In a way, without getting into spoilers. Clumsy, yep. Master chef, because that's what she wants to be. Baking, cooking, video games. Non to Veed. As you can see, Veed is the exact same. These the exact same, so don't really need to go into that. I'm gonna do the outfit first. It's easier. Aha, <laughs> these ones. Here it is. Yep, pass his hair. Yeah, I would recommend watching that. Um, Athenian. Oh, but it's a really good tabletop campaign. And yes, he is wearing a pirate shirt, by the way. I wanted it to just be this. Um, you can't actually see. The black net. I wanted it in white. That's the closest I could see. But that's the closest I could get. Basically, pirate shirt. There's one more character after this, and then we've done. We've we've done with the uh, creator sim. 
I'm gonna have to edit. <laughs> yeah, feed. Now we have Lonic. Now, this is the character I wanted to speak about. I wanted to talk to you guys about Lonic. Is a hedgehog. In case you guys couldn't tell with the name Lonic, with a reference to Sonic. He's a pink hedgehog, and he's basically a mix of different video game characters. Here's one of them, and where is it? Skin tape details. Let's turn him around, shall we? Got a Pikachu tail. It's awesome. I have to actually get Lonic up. All right, let's do this, Lonic. To get that Lonic's outfit done. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Done. Uh, Lonic, you've got really green eyes. Scary. I don't have like pure green. That I'll have to do. Lonic's basically a mix between Sonic, um, Link from Legend of Zelda, and Pikachu. And Kirby as well. He's gonna look crazy. He is gonna look crazy. Lonic looks kinda weird. My, my Lonic. My Lonic looks weird. Definitely weird. Let's not forget about the hair. It was a mohawk. Now, where is it? Where is the mohawk? I saw there it is. The reason why I chose mohawk is because of the spikes. Lonic's really spiky. You take damage if you touch Lonic and. Yeah, you get spiky damage and also thunder damage as well. Yeah, I got some anime cheeks. Anime blush. Can't change it to red. But it's fair. The blush is fair. You've got quite a small mouth, Lonic. What am I making? This is not Lonic. This is not Lonic. Uh, this is not Lonic. Oh, who is this imposter? That's kind of creepy. It's hard to do it, but he's not human. He's not a human being. He's a hedgehog. How am I supposed to? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I hope Lonic looks okay. So yeah, this is Lonic. Actually, should I give you pointy ears, Lonic? I think I should. Let's do it. Let's give you pointy ears. Let's see what that looks like. And uh, nope. Actually, your ears are. That's Dumbo ears. That's Dumbo ears. So, yep, yeah, here's Lonic. And this is his trait Geek, because he's a video game character. Athletic. Active, athletic. He has to save the princess. And a goofball likes to be playful. Now, the lifetime wish. Lifetime wish. Lifetime goal. Uh, computer wish. Computer wish. You know, playing video games. Quick learner though. No, that's complete opposite to Lonic. <laughs> uh -huh. No, he does not like knowledge at all. Like skiing, snowboarding, video gaming. But he likes sports in his games. Dislikes research, debate, rocket science. Could his enemy use his intelligence against him? So yeah, that is all the characters. So if I were to choose a favourite, a favourite one that I created, Oh, black powder, don't break your back. 
yeah, again, probably like Sam or Black Powder is my favourite. Yeah, Tori as well. Right, Frankie, I don't know what went, went wrong with Frankie. <laughs> no idea what went, went wrong with him. At some point, when I was creating him, it went wrong. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I like the suit that I created. It's okay. Lonic looks weird. <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah, I say one of the first three is my favourite. Oh, I never had to choose a favourite character. Like in the actual campaign. I don't know. Say Lonic or Tori, my favourite world. I like Star's world and Tori's world. <laughs> and at the time I'm recording this, we've just arrived in Lonic's world. And I'm excited to find out more about it. But like I said, I love all the characters. I really do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll leave a link to all the custom content that I made. No, I didn't make custom content, but I downloaded. I'll leave a link to all the custom content I downloaded. Hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully it wasn't too boring. And yeah, um, let me know which one is your favourite. I'll leave a link to the campaign as well down below. The campaign and the custom content down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.